at kind of what people were picking. Um, saw a little bit of Jumong. I know Jolts played some Jumong yesterday yep. in one of the in yep, one yep. of the early matches that they played. Um, the qualifier kind of thing, if you want to call it that. Uh, Iva's getting a lot of play. A lot of at least in Europe, there's yeah. a lot of Iva play or Eva, whatever. It's Iva. It's yeah, Iva. Iva. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. We call her Eva, and everyone like got triggered. Like, I don't even know, know whatever. Why. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, there's been some yeah, a little change. Trying to see if somebody in chat Shake things up me. a bit. Someone saying something? I don't no. know. No, I wanted someone to remind me what the third was for the team that won. Thanks, guys. Yeah, come on, guys, help us out, please. Come on, please, please, please. Well, um, uh, yeah. What well, was it so, though? There was. So, oh, oh. Nope. I had something. No. Uh, nice effort. Yeah. We have a game. We've got a game. Oh hey. Oh hey, look. Oh, it's gamers. What? Hot Biscuit? Where's Ashka? Hot Biscotti! Where's Ashka? Now you're just Lightning Biscuit. Lightning Biscuit? I, you're Chalk Biscuit. I like Lightning Biscuit a lot less than Hot Biscotti. You can't I, beat the, the, the fancy Hot Biscotti, dude. Well, who knows? Maybe maybe you'll give us a little something-something. Clarity, Clarity says Taya. Is Taya? Yeah, it was! Oh, oh yeah, it was Taya. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was hey, tight. thanks, Clarny. Thanks, Clarny. What, 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 a, what a legend you are, Clarny. What a bro. Also, hello. But yeah. So we got uh, we got Blanks back on the pest here. Uh, something we had seen him do a lot, really before before other people were really playing pest. He was kind of one of the first guys to really get in there and do it. So uh, this time around, we got that same composition going again. That uh, double support with the Taya on the side of Daybach. Devak! Devak! So I'm excited to see this. See if it works as well as it did last week. Teams were really having a lot of trouble dealing with it. Huh. So we'll see if uh, it can be as successful. Interesting space from Gata, but he's doing all right. Not getting punished for it too hard. Crook has yet to be able to find a way to penetrate. And Hot Biscuits staying poked back. And Taya easily securing the first orb right now for Devak. Now Sanu mm -hmm. finds himself against the Crook. She's going to get shielded and healed. Oh, but he's going to lose a little bit of max health. Crook comes right back, pushed away. By Ty, and meantime, God of is gonna get a petrify on oh hot biscuit. Yeah. He's and right back though. Luzak was coming around for Sanu over here. He's trying to deal with him. He's gonna lay the goo down, does get a clarity potion, knocking hot biscuit back into it just for a moment. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Barriers down, venom's gonna be out. It takes up most of the damage from the venom, but it's quite the split. We don't see this terribly often. Oh, God of now is in deal with Wuzak, who is completely healthy. He's gone, camouflage the barrier out to help him, which means there's no more shield. No more shield from Lucy, that is. And they will secure that. Oh, no, they won't. And Daybok no, Daybok managed to Daybok snake that. Sna snaked it. Snaking that orb. And now the goo's going to come down again right into the Thunder Strike. Hot Biscuit took the initial damage from the goo, but he got himself out of there with his own ultimate. So it didn't do too much, but he's looking to go right back in. But he's dealing with quite a bit of pressure. Has to get swarmed. And uh, Kamabi actually now. gives no damn right now. He's just going nope. all in, but now he might get punished. Ooh. They want to find their moment, but there it is. God of there to help him out. Kababi uses it just to escape. Yeah. I do like that, though. Without Kababi, they will not have the damage. And now we're going to see. Can Hot Biscuit get in with the damage? Freya now trying in to get to the mix. Wuzak putting on the pressure on the other support. Sanu now taking damage. Panic Blast missed. Oh, he's laying down some more Vortexes here that... Orb is going to be back up again. Daybox securing yet another one. They're four and one on Orbs oh. here going into the Thunder Strike. That goo got laid down. And Nailed now in a reposition. Oh, Kababi's ultimate getting shut down. Oh, oh, oh East Space Bar out of it. Got nice. up. Nice timing. Sanu getting a panic as well. Spacing out. But Kababi now with not much max health. They, can they secure yet another Orb? Oh, they man. do. Somehow, five Orbs to one. This is great for them but they are still looking dangerously low, losing in the health pool game. Will Freya oh. get knocked out? The swarm is out. Ooh, Goes biscuit. for the stun on the other instead. Got oh him my. about to go down. God, how is he still alive? He's barely hanging on there. Oh, there goes Hot Biscuit. Goo's going to be laid down again. No one getting caught in it, but a good panic on to Wuzak's going to send him out of the arena. And meanwhile, they managed to pick up Blank. So it's a 1v3. Wuzak should be going down here. Just a second. There he goes. And Daybok is going to pick up round number one. Really good orb control from Daybok throughout that entire round. You can see it up there. Six 
to one on orbs, and that really adds up the amount of max health you're constantly building up. The extra energy that you're getting can really make a big difference in these games, especially as it comes to later in the round. Those orbs really making a big difference. Wuzak pumping out the damage as not, well for Project Horizon on that last round. Not only that, but 6-1 orbs, and they still barely pull that off. Yeah, seriously. If they yeah. hadn't secured some of those orbs, I think they would have easily lost that. So Project Horizon can find a way to snake them orbs, to get some good snacks in. Some snacks. Get those snacks. They may be looking at a victory here, but remember, best of three maps, this is the first map of this semifinal. So we got plenty of time to see who truly is the better team today. Hot Biscuit's already taken quite a bit of damage early on into this round. We're only 30 seconds in, and he's down below half health. But Looking to engage up top. Yeah, both of your supports there on the side of Dave Bach. Kababi's already got his ultimate. He's going in with it. Just getting those boomerangs out there. And oh man, Hot Fist gets in a lot of trouble. The goo comes down. Hot Fist already falling in this round. Venom is going to hit, actually do quite a bit of damage. They might be able to turn this oh, around wow. if they can find a kill quickly. Can they take out Sanu? Sanu's their best option right now. Oh, he's going to turn actually on God of instead. Getting yeah, that hot barrier. Hot biscuit found himself in a useful spot. Really wanted to jump in to try and at least put a little bit of damage out and not let his teammates die, but he got turned on immediately. The goo being the final blow. Nice oh no, oh. the tornado. Oh, still dealt damage to Godov though. He stood a bit too close. Still snooze lucky. He got that tornado from Kababi, and now Blanks is really starting to take a number. Has to use Swarm on himself for a bit of extra protection. And now Wuzak's in a bit of trouble as well. He's trying to make his way out of there as they rotate around on that bottom. Getting a good panic as well. We'll land on Kababi and Snooze. Oh. Ooh, Blanks is in some trouble though. Down low, they are going to use that ultimate. A good infest onto the Queen though to make sure that he didn't get caught inside of that Luzak and Blanks trying to work their way back in here, but they're in a bit of a tough spot. They gotta find a kill in quickly. Cool. Blanks actually oh, going in Oh, that was really nice. Oh. Kababi brought him just too far to be able to get his second in fast, and now it appears that Wuzak totally knows. Yeah, Kababi had Blanks inside of him. He was infested by the Pestilence, and he tried to make as much distance as he could between him and his mm -hmm. allies so that he couldn't get the double infest. Well done. Well done. Well done, my good man. Mm, yes. Two Debak. to zero it is. Debak now really showing who's boss. Mm. Two to zero. The boss. Project Horizon struggling to get orbs. Two orbs total in the last two rounds. Man, Debak, or uh, yeah, not Debak. Wuzak has been pounding in terms of damage, at least. He's been top damaging, I think, uh, both rounds. Really been doing a good job. Staying alive as well. He's been one of the last guys each round for Project Horizon. But first orb is up. Daybok yet again able to secure it. And they've been really good with that orb control here. On this double support comp. That uh, Chrono Flux from God of really helps them out. Oh, Hot Biscuit taking a lot of damage in the process. He uses his shield and gets stun off onto Sanu. Oh, not a whole lot of follow-up. Hot Biscuit getting panicked to the other side while Blanks took a lot of damage as well. That time an orb will get sniped out by Wuzak. A nice space bar. They're going to try and deal a lot of damage to Taya, but Tornado will save her. In the meantime, it's looking like Hot Biscuit might be the end of days for him. Can oh. he iframe it? He did iframe it. Wow, he went in. The Old Or Ultimate got used just as he was going for the Venom. Hot Biscuit now is in a lot of trouble himself, using counter out in the middle of nowhere on that one. He's got to be careful because his max health is incredibly low at the moment. Now God of is getting pressured by Wuzak at the moment. Kababi's going to use his ultimate as he tries to keep that pressure up on a hot biscuit and blanks down on the bottom. Oh, if they can get a combo here, Freya has ultimate. Freya's oh, gonna have to use it to escape. Kababi oh. might go down, speaking oh. with the Venom wins as well. The, oh, tornado. the tornado! Just, Just in time. Oh, that's gonna be it. That tornado saved them from too much damage. Hot biscuit going down. Kababi now too far from first. He's gonna put the pressure now on blanks on the bottom. There's just too much protection. This double support is just yeah. so nutty. It's so good. I mean, they just, there's always something to bail them out, it seems. And they just they have such good sustain. Oh, going in for the stun was Wuzak, but it had that uh, had that shield up, got up. Wuzak trying to re-engage here. Oh, oh, oh Blanks is getting sniped out down on the bottom there. Now the it's XM1 one three. spamming, baby. Mm. And see ya. And another one. Another one. Another one that has hit three rounds in a row. Daybok looking like 
trying to really just show that this composition is the one to beat. Seriously. Who to thunk it? Who to thunk it? Aldor, Taya, Lucy. Yeah, this is uh, obviously they were able to take it last week using that comp, and uh, it's it's continuing to work well. Kababi doing a good job on damage that round as well. He's uh, that was one of the big things last week with this composition. Kababi was just able to deal so much damage on that Taya. Doing that again this week as well. Going in immediately for God of was Uzak and Hot Biscuit. He has to space himself out of there. And just going to be poking a little bit. Kababi just sitting in the back, really able to sit there and continuously pump out those boomerangs. That orb is up. This time Project Horizon able to grab it up first. Uzak got to be a little bit careful down there on the bottom. Tornado used by Kababi. Bail himself out. Oh, man. Hot Biscuit taking quite a bit there as well. As they used haste, they're looking to maybe engage with that. Hot Biscuit's taking quite a number of damage here. Oh. And Daybok getting that orb. Spaced out right now. Everyone trying to reposture up, waiting for that next orb to spawn potentially. But the poke game is real. Hot Biscuit has to close the gap. And he will get his counter hit. Ooh, the goo I mean, comes out yet again. Hot Biscuit able to use his ultimate to escape it. Oh, Luzak going right back into the goo. Oh. Hot Biscuit now trying to find as much damage as he can, but he's used almost everything now. The counter's down as well. Hot Biscuit is just waiting to get tanked right now. He's got to be careful. In the meantime, Blanks is dealing with the piggy. Oh, man. Fast. Can he, can he hit her with it? No, no. He goes down instead. Hot Biscuit now has to try and dodge as much mm. as he can, but it might be too late, and yeah. it is. God, I was able to finish that one off. So Wuzak and Blanks hit again, and Blanks has no shots at that one. Man, Daybok just continuing to crush it from last week. It's just been uh, just doing so well with this composition. Now they're up four to zero in map number one in this best of three in the semifinals. Doing really, really well with it. Snoo the star that last round for Daybok in terms of score, but Project Horizon's gotta, gotta figure it out here quick. Yeah, R round one was the closest round that we saw now. Project Horizon really struggling to get orbs. Although they struggled the first round, they still almost took it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think the double melee combo is really, is really hurting them right now. I think it's really tough for Freya to get in. Every time she does, she has to use too many cooldowns to negate damage. The last three times I've seen her ult, it's just to escape from a Lucy ult. I think yeah. it's, just a real, it's a real struggle bus right now for Freya to, to, to do anything consistent. They run out together to see if they can do something to God of. But again, the double support, so much shield, so much heal. He barely takes any max health. In the meantime now, Kababi is going to try and punish Taking Hot Biscuit down, but they did not secure the orb. Oh, Hot Biscuit. Yeah, man, Hot Biscuit has taken so much damage here. Going in for his counter right as the Queen came in. And doesn't, isn't able to land that one. Hot Biscuit's got to be careful. Kababi coming in with his ultimate. He uses his counter. It doesn't quite get procced. And he really just needs to back off a little bit. Takes some heals, comes in with his ultimate. It does land, but now the goo comes out. And he's got nothing to get away. Oh, goodness, there goes Hot Biscuit. And there comes the ultimate from God of. Meanwhile, Blanks up top is just getting crushed. Has to infest God of to try and bail himself out and oh, get out it. of harm's that's way. But now he's got nothing. And he should be done so here in just a second. The EXM1 from God of finishes him off. And it is just Wuzak yet again. He's always the last survivor for Project Horizon, but it doesn't really matter for them. Daybox sleeping at 5-0 in map number one. Man, this, uh, I mean, obviously the players are, are playing quite well, but the composition itself, uh, we've harped on it a lot, but it's just so good. I yeah. mean, you, you have the barrier, you have tornado. Uh, you know, there's just so much protection. Obviously, lots of healing. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, flux. they can't, yeah, they, they just can't, like, chunk down that max health. It's, uh, they've been having a lot of trouble landing combos, and I'm not sure if the, the team composition on the side of Project Horizon uh, I don't know, it's fit to fit to chunk down that max health. Now, what I imagine, there's there's a couple of things they could maybe could have done, but they just struggled with. We saw Hot Biscuit having to use his ultimate for escapes a lot. Mm -hmm. I imagine they'd want to line that up with an end cap, yeah. either from Croak or herself, yeah. or even um, a mind control from Pestilus. We don't see those very often, but they're really, really it well capitalized. Be, yeah. You see really strong in twos, and obviously this is not twos. In twos, you know, CC goes a little bit more of a long way because you just removed literally 50% of the team right. by using a really nice CC. But Mind Control, I think, lined up with a Freya ultimate. Mm -hmm. But the problem was 
by the time they finally ramped up to the ultimates, by the time Freya finally did get enough, she had to dedicate so many cooldowns to get in there mm -hmm. and to maybe, because she wanted to force them to use cooldowns. Right. Because she wants to make sure that she can use that ultimate. They weren't lining up to CC with the ultimate. She was trying to just do it kind of naturally. Yeah. She's like, hey, if you use enough cooldowns, we'll just, I'll just ult you, right? But then every time she went in, she had to use all her cooldowns. She got completely wrecked. Lucy ult came in. She had to use her ult just to escape. Yeah. I think she only actually landed on an opposing champion like twice. Yeah, all maybe. Yeah, something like that. I, I suspect to see the Ashka switch. Mostly yeah. because, I mean, if that didn't work, you, you just got to try something new. Yeah. You no, like, they have to. It just didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I feel like Project Horizon previously had much more success with, like, the Ashka combo. Like, that just worked uh, a lot better for them. They can pull off some... Uh, their own combos much yeah. easier. It seems like that's probably more uh, a little more refined for them. So maybe see that switch coming into this next game might be a good option for them. Obviously, whatever they're doing right now isn't quite working. Also, he's just been on Ashka for so long. Yeah, it it's like hurts. hot biscotti, man. It hurts, it hurts yeah. to see him on something else. I know. But we should so, make this a super okay. chill street now. Yeah, just, just really get back. You know, yeah. how's everyone doing today? <clears throat> everyone doing all right? Hope you all having a good morning. Yeah. Or I guess evening for those of you over in Europe. We are broadcasting to you guys. Hope you're all doing having a good evening. Yeah. My hope face you had a, is itchy. Hope you had a good dinner, whatever you had for dinner. Yeah. Anyone that just woke if up. If you're in America, us. hope you had a good breakfast. Yeah, some nice coffee. Yeah. Are you a coffee guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I've been dabbling with tea a little bit recently, you're though. Ooh. Been dabbling with tea. Yeah, I'm actually a big fan of teas because sometimes coffee gives me like these. Go on. Like, if I drink. Please. Not even drink too much. It's like it'll hit me weird. Sometimes and just give me these weird like jitters. You mean anxiety? No, I I wouldn't even say anxiety. It's just kind of like I don't know. I I do, like just don't feel good. Comfy, dude. Yeah, I know. Real you're like comfy. going like full yeah. spread here, <laughs> just like <laughs> no, hanging no, no. out. I thought you were gonna say coffee gives you the runs because that's that. Oh, I mean that. That too. is a side effect of a, of yeah. too much like yeah. coffee. Yeah, yeah. I don't no, know. I don't do that too. I like but. I like a good coffee. Mm -hmm. I like, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like. Like, I enjoy, like, craft beers and, like, doing new beer things, but I haven't mm. gotten that far into the coffee world yet. I feel, see, where to I'm me, actually, like, like, trying, like, different roasts and different, like, yeah. things. The thing is, though, with coffee, for me, like, I can't tell that much of a difference between, like, roasts. Like, unless yeah. it's a light roast versus, like, a dark roast kind of thing. Which then you can obvious, really, yeah. yeah. But, like, to me, I feel like tea has so it's much like variety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, tea, I feel like, has a lot of variety, right? Yeah. You know, uh, plus it's just nice coffee. I, I can't drink it black. It, uh, I'm not man enough to drink coffee black, so I always have to put like cream Fair creamer enough. in it. And the, and tea, then it I can just drink coffee, straight up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But the problem is when you put like, because because it's you run into that issue where it's like you got a great steak, and then you mm. put a one steak sauce on it. Like first yeah. of all, go screw yourself. Like what yeah. are you doing? Stop ruining your steak. Yeah. And if yeah. you do enjoy that, I'm sorry. Don't be You're offended. Still your You're still ruining your steak. You're still ruining your steaks. Yeah. Unless you got like you know, if you have an okay steak. A1, steak it up, buddy. Put yeah. the sauce on there. Yeah. Make it taste good. <laughs> but if you've got yourself like a nice cut of steak, like nice you know, maybe like a filet, dude, like a real nice filet yeah, yeah. or something. Dude, I had a bone-in filet in once. I didn't even know that was a thing. A, bo a what? A, a bone-in filet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know, know that was, I didn't know it was possible. Mm. Yeah. I died a little bit that night in the best way possible. <laughs> actually, it, it pretty much felt like eating like a stick of butter. It was insane. St oh, dude, filets are so good. It was mm. delicious. But anyways, same with coffee, right? So you have a really good coffee, but if you can't drink it black, then you put like... There's no, like, top-notch creamer, really. Yeah, it's just The best all... is, like, actually getting milk. Yeah. That's, like, the it... best. And, like, wh how fancy is your milk going to get, right? You got, like, super fancy. I like... only have my milk from grass-fed cows. <laughs> from okay. grass-fed cows, and it's only, mm. it's never more than two hours old. Mm. It's the freshest of milk. Freshest from the farm. Freshest. Mm. Like my pappy used to make. Mm. But, I mean, you know, also on the steak note, in case any of you are cooking it past, like, medium don't do that. <laughs> don't. If you're going past medium, you're oh. doing it wrong. If, if you, I don't even care if that's what you like. It's still wrong. If you want to understand, if, if you have never had what you think to be a good top-notch steak, send me a tweet. Send me a DM. Yeah. We'll, we'll go over the logistics. I'll yeah. teach you about steaks. I'll break it down step-by-step. I'll step teach you about steak step. consuming. There's a way to mm -hmm. eat it correctly. Yep. Don't worry. I got you covered in all of it. In the meantime, let's watch some Battle Right. That's because, right. You know? That is right. We got... Project Horizon, Daybok. Daybok giving Project Horizon the business in map number one. Crushing them 5 0. Wrecked, as you may say. And look at that. Hot Biscuit making the switch back to the Ashka. He is the true Hot Biscotti now. And oh. Blanks is on the old door. He's back. And let's see if they can punish now. Blanks probably struggling a little bit on that Pestilus. Team Comp, he was with probably protect him a bit more, and now Ashka's going to be one leaping all over the place. In the meantime, we're going to see 
If Uzak can punish in the back line, there's a little bit of the team composition matchup. And the first orb goes to Daybox, surprisingly. Mm. Stone Glass there on to a hot biscuit, but he will survive. He will persevere. Barriers down on the side of Daybox. And I believe that tornado is still up, though, so they have to be wary of that. And if, uh, orb will be up now as well, Daybox. We're able to grab the first one. Chrono Flux coming down. Project Horizon. <laughs> I could tell there's like firewalls and Chrono Fluxes everywhere. <laughs> Everyone wanted that. Oh no, the Ash Gold will not find anybody. It will not make connection. Like They're trying level. to deal damage to Sanu, but now Sanu's got nothing left. Barrier's down. Tornado's down. They want to punish. Will Wu oh my God, is he just uh, gonna keep going in? Wu's <laughs> He got two. Oh, there it is. Sanu goes down so painfully, and on top of it, Project Horizon gets yet another orb. And now it is going to be Kababi using his ult, swooping back in. God of, he's got to be careful here. He's getting pressure by Wuzak. Uh, now he oh, goes in for the Venom and a big old swing and a miss. Big old swing and a miss. Oh, the Petrify stun. Back mm. and forth, but it doesn't matter. Hot Biscuit, there it is. Shown he is the true, hot, hottest of Biscottis. The hottest, the hottest of, Biscottis. of Biscottis, boys. Boy, steaming. There it is, that's the turnaround. Project Horizon getting the first round promisingly. There's the combos. We did see a couple of nice croak Ashka combos. Stun to stun to a little bit of damage. Ignite as well. Ignite is one of those things. It's easy to forget. It's easy to forget, Ignite's on you. But that's that right. bad boy ticks you for damage. Yep. It ticks will. you for days. Kind of sneaks up on you almost yeah. like sands of time kind of thing. It's like, you know, it'll uh it'll it'll work its way, you know, it'll work on you over time. But Project Rise get themselves on the board. So, good to see see them start to turn things around with this composition change as they start to engage both sides. Whoa, oh, there it is. Done. Not a whole lot of follow-up, but they did get some of that damage down, and this time Project Horizon's going to strike first, grabbing that orb. But uh, now both teams just kind of sitting back, poking, just as Kababi, though. He'll go in, have to use Tornado on himself, make sure he gets that protection. Barrier is down as well, so there may be a small opportunity for Project Horizon to uh, dish some damage here with a lot of those protections down. Firewall is down. Ooh, big Venom. Chrono Flux and the Venom, they need the ultimate just to save him. God of still took a lot of damage from it. Goo now is going to fall down, but no Clarity Potion to follow up or anything really to Oh, get gets one, gets in. two, and the end cap as well, leaving her in oh. the damage over time. Sanu is looking dangerous in the meantime. God of two. Wow. Kababi almost all three and a huge threat. No one can support each other. Everyone trying to escape. Oh, now it's 2v3. Things looking pretty good for Project Horizon here. Down goes Sanu. And God of is just accepting of his fate. And Project Horizon are going to go up 2-0 to zero here. So I'm starting to smell a little something. You know oh, what yeah. I'm smelling? What are you smelling? I think I'm smelling a comeback. Oh, I think it. Oh, you're right. Maybe. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to give him Caster's Curse. I hope I didn't just do that. Do we have That's any water around here? That's not a thing. We don't I don't know. Anything. Caster's Curse is not a thing. Mm. Mm. Either way, 2-0 to zero, Project Horizon. Here we go. I'm, uh, I'm smelling that comeback, baby. We'll see. Daybox can have something to say about it, I'm sure. Uh -oh. Immediately going in for God Up. Barrier has to be used on him. You know, use his own time bender. Oh, the firewall and conflagration comes out. Some damage on the God Up. He uses his space bar just to put himself in a better place. But Hot Biscuit will miss a stun. Followed up, though, an M2 and the stun from Croak. They won't get that first orb, though. Daybox is going to get a little bit of health back and some resources. They still oh. able to get some good damage off on Sanu, regardless. And now you have. A couple of the guys from Project Horizon sitting up top. Actually, as Wuzak gets panicked away, you got all of them sitting on this top end, just poking away back and forth. Firewall comes down from Hot Biscuit as Kababi starting uh -oh. to engage. Chronoflux coming down. The orb is up, and Daybok able to secure at that time now as the ultimate comes out from Blanks. And Google oh. Ball in the back here. Oh, that's so much damage onto Blanks. And he gets panicked away. That's just <laughs> tremendous amounts of CC as he goes down. Oh, but a lot of Venom. All sorts of resources being Another used. My ult. goodness, he's got so much of it. He Hot just won't go down. Oh. Sanu somehow surviving three ultimates back to back to back. Now, can Hot Biscuit and Wuzak land the combos? Can they put the damage on with a double support team? I find it highly unlikely. Right. Unlikely. Unlikely. Yeah. Seizing up. <laughs> he 
seizing on the battle right cast. Uh, yeah, 2v3, not looking good. Daybox got all the orbs, and they're going to grab yet another one. I feel Project Horizon had any chance on that round. They absolutely needed to get that orb, but even if they did, I don't think oh. they were going to win yeah. it. This is going to be the end of days for Uzak. Yep. He's he basic. Well, he, he has an ultimate, though. Is he going to do a blind? Maybe. Is he going to do a blind? Hot biscuit. Oh! Do it. He got one. Oh, oh no. the tornado. The tornado goes through everything. It's got to be so frustrating. He did still get the follow-up on the stun. They're doing their darndest. They're just trying to be a pest at this point. I pad those stats, baby. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I pad those stats. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Hot Biscuit just... Hot Biscuit with the 3v1. We've seen him do it before. And we're and not going to see him do it today. No, we're not. No, not going to happen. Daybok getting themselves right back into the game. Still 2-1 Project Horizon in map number two. And yet again, that uh, that double support comp showing why it was so good. I mean, we saw those like three ultimates back to back to it back. Was, it was right. Ashka followed by Venom Win followed yeah. by Ashka again because he picked up one from his fallen Blank's friend. And it actually hardly did like any damage because Shoot. they just had, which is so sad because like literally all the alts connected. They all, you know, yeah, it was but nice. they barely did any damage. It was just constant like barrier, tornado, something, uh, you know, God of's. You know, ultimate. It, it's just so much protection. And uh, they weren't able to get the damage off, which is a shame. But that's the benefits of this comp that Daybok is running. Wuzak trying to dance around that top wall. He really wants to punish God of. Time Bender is out. I believe the space bar is too. Oh, there it is. It comes out. He's going to try and find himself in the middle with that first orb as well. He already has an ultimate. He's made a lot of connection with his abilities early on in this match. Now Wuzak trying to engage that ground stun, not quite going to connect as Wuzak following up onto God of. They got a good snare down onto him, really dishing out that damage. Barrier comes in, but he's in a rough spot at the moment. Will God of, he's got to be careful. Will the Gooby coming out? Wuzak has been all willy-nilly with his oh. mobility. There's a Petrify as well. He's not able to get a second space. He's just going to go on God of instead. Uh-oh. Old Dor was able to ult his way out of that one. And another Old Dor ultimate back oh, on him, but he missed. What? Yeah, he barely, he didn't even really dodge. He just flat out missed. God of did, and now he might be in some trouble. Barrier and Tornado both down. The Venom is going to connect. He doesn't have a space to get away with it. And there goes God of down. Oh, baby, that was good. Waiting for the perfect opportunity to use those ultimates on to God of. They connect, and oh. now Hot Biscuit going in. Shades of Finlev whipping the ult. Shades of Finlev. Yeah, sad. 50, 50 Shades of Finlev. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we make that movie? I just uh, don't know what they're going to do here. This is going to be so tough. Three? This is actually... They, need they could come oh. back from this. Blanks is really, really hurt can. in the back. I mean, if they can just go in and get oh, him right now. Oh, it's going to get him. Oh, the haste Oh, the haste. Hard. Hot Biscuit. Oh, he uses the E, but also the space bar comes out. He's going to go for the middle. No, he's not. I mean... <laughs> oh, man. Daybok. They got that orb. They could still do safe. this in theory. Oh, yeah. Both teams really have this. They need to space out. Blanks need to try and top everybody off. Top them off. Give last me, call. Give me a little, yeah, last call. It's 2 a.m. Get them in there. Oh, man. Dude, if they can just get one good combo off onto Blanks, really, they could end it. But Lucy's down. Yeah, oh, there it is together. They just individually. The 2v1, the 1v1. Wuzak can handle Lucy all by himself. And then Hot Biscuit and Blanks trying to take out Kebabi. Three rounds to one now, looking a lot different than last time. Last map, Daybok took it 5-0. to zero. Looks like they finally found an answer for this very unique team composition that brought them to the top last week. And, and for Project Horizon, the composition that they're running now in map number two, uh, I think is just much more of a mainstay for them. It's, it's something that they're better at executing, whereas their previous composition was not quite as good for them. I, I don't think they're, they just don't have quite as much maybe experience playing that sort of composition. So, yeah. Uh, this definitely working much better for them. Three to one now, not number three, or number two, excuse me. But Hot uh, Biscuit having to use his firewall here is, uh, he had a bit of pressure coming in, but now Chrono Flux is all over the place. They fight it out for that orb, but Daybok secures it first. Daybok doing, they're quite spread out right now. Gata behind a wall, him and Sanuja trying to permanently heal each other while Kabobby's in the bottom. Ooh, Ooh, really not a lot of max health damage yet. Uzak again, playing that dance with that top wall. Trying to avoid as much damage as possible. Finding that moment to strike. Hot Biscuit's wall is down, and the orb's about to be up. Might have been a bit too early for him. Now he can't help secure the orb. Who's going to get it? The Q is down, and it looks like Project Horizon secure orb number two. Ooh, now the ultimate comes through from Hot Biscuit. 
And one of the old doors using his all down blanks. As he's kind of separated from the rest of his team. He's got to be a little careful here. He's going to meet oh, up top. Good timing it. on that goo. Oh, oh not going to back in. That's so much damage. See you later, Blanks. See you later, Woozak. And now Hotfist gets the last remaining player. He's got a lot of health, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it's going to be enough to pull off this one versus three. That timing on the goo was just so good from Sanu, he waited till they had nothing left and a great clarity potion to follow it up as well to knock him right back in it. He's able to secure two kills with it and now Daybok getting themselves another round back. And uh, that was sick. The three to two. It was either a, uh, a clarity and I think Kababi may have knocked them back in it Using as well Q. potentially. I, I, yeah. Q. I wasn't able to catch if it was a Zephyr or if it was just a standard Q, but either way, well timed for that combo. Really putting on the damage. Can yeah. they punish early? A lot, of, a lot of mid to late game damage happening with these comps. They play it a lot safer. We don't see them just going in blindly. How best get puts the wall up again just before Orb comes out. Wants to get some conflagration damage out. Turn them fireballs into firebolts and they will secure the first orb. They will. Health just about dead even at the moment. As they really oh, just that. continuing in this poke war. Wuzak doing what he normally does. Sitting up top. Nice tornado to avoid that ground stun. Lucy's getting hunted right now. Wuzak finding it. He jumps away just before the Panic Blast comes out, and there is an ultimate from Hot Biscuit. But he was unable to land. We will see Venom wind, and the ultimate from Eldor to save her from it. She chooses to try and go in on Wuzak, but will not make connection with the Eldor ultimate. In the meantime, he regroups with his allies. Deceit comes out. Again, Hot Biscuit, the Firewall, trying to put those Firebolts out. Push them back. Got up, getting caught on that stun again from Hot Biscuit, but no harm done. As Oh, trying to go in his Wuzak didn't connect on his his own stun. But he's looking to keep that pressure up onto Godov, who's now used his space in his time better. So this might be an opportunity for them. Goo is going to come out, but the immediate response with the oh. ultimate getting the stun off. And that will be quite a number done, but no kills as of yet. Godov is separated by himself up top. That might be that oh. may have been an opportunity for them, actually... but the orb goes away of Daybok. Kababi was able to Zephyr in and get an M1 to secure that orb. That will help them a bit, getting some resources. An ultimate from Gadav still sitting and waiting in the chamber. We'll see when he pulls this out. But we do also have a Venom Wind. Will Wuzak use it for Deceit or will he try and get that damage? Right now, a lot of cooldowns on both teams. No one's using much. Everyone's trying to re get them back. Oh, they just oh, missed on that yeah. combo. That was, ah, that was pretty disappointing. Oh, but he got him. He knocked Ty out of the ultimate. There's the Oldor ultimate to try and save Ty, and he misses on Oldor. This might be the end of Kababi. Taking one, two, oh, barrier. three fire bolts. Oh, and the goo. Now the tornado is going to be able to survive just barely. For now, at least. Oh, he has to use haste yet again, but somehow managed to get his way oh. out of that. Oh, man, how is he still alive? He's trying to re-engage. The health oh, advantage steadily in favor of Project Horizon, though, as Kababi finally goes down. Godav should be following him shortly. There goes Sanu and got a Project Horizon with a map point here. They're up four to two. Map number two looking to send it to a map three. That was pretty sick. Waiting for the tornado and the space bar to be down from two. We saw the Q from Ashka. Nice ground stun securing yep. two kills. Very, very quickly there towards the end. Really pressuring them, keeping them on the on the outskirts of the map. Making sure that that, that Darkness. Yeah, the darkness. It'll creep up on you, too. Yeah. Be careful, but Project Horizon looking to seal the deal here. Send it to another deciding map. Uh, first orb is going to be up. Who's going to secure it? It's Daybok. Right off the start here is Wuzak going in. Couldn't quite connect with his deceit onto Sanu. But he's, he wants to keep the pressure going. Nice panic, though. Let's keep him at bay for now. Stone Glass came in, but a tornado from Kababi to avoid the oh, CC. The ground is. stun connects, though. Will he get any? No. He almost hit himself. Oh, man. Those Fireballs find themselves within two Chrono Fluxes, bouncing back and forth. Camouflage on Eldor, but he has an ultimate to escape if he needs it. He saved it, though, knowing he didn't have any max damage coming his way. Well, the ultimate now, comes out from Kababi. Nice, Petrify. Nice. Really well done. Wasting um, the ultimate. Yeah, now. Both teams kind of repositioning here as this orb comes up and Daybok getting it yet again. They're 3-0 on orbs this round. 
Nice. They've got two really ultimates in the chamber. Blanks just built up to his, but he had to use Chrono Flux to try and save Hot Biscuit from some damage. But we'll see a Venom Wind come out. Sanu almost back to his. Hot Biscuit just continuously getting shut down there by Chrono Fluxes and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, Venom is going to come out. Tornado just in time, though, that to might make be, sure Sanu avoids the damage. That might be a good time to try and hunt down on Kababi. Barrier and Haste both down. There it is. We're going to get a ground stun. One Firebolt being landed in the meantime. Old Door versus Old Door on the bottom. The oh. goo comes out. Old Door has to ult out of it. Get off. Tried to punish. But oh. now he's just going to go try and help out his ally. Blanks dangerously low while Hot Biscuit tries to punish up top. Oh, coming in with the ultimate. I don't think it really did a whole lot. Kababi forced to use his tornado. Snoo's been getting the pressure from Wuzak, but he was able to get a good panic off. Now the end cap comes oh. out. That ground stun again. Just uh, not on point. Off, yeah. And that's, those are ones you'd like to have back. You could really set up some good combinations and uh, chunk down the max health of Sanu, but Project Horizon actually able to snake that orb right there. I believe it was the jump from Wuzak that secured it. Good in cap. Now they're going to try and maybe set something up with this. A lot of damage being dealt to God of. Man, Wuzak's just a complete menace right now in all three. Oh, man, oh, it's looking real low. He has oh, to use tornado. tornado. Well timed, but he still did get the stun somehow. And now an Ashka ultimate will help them. Oh, they actually didn't even secure that orb. Oh man, this is this might be a bit of trouble. The goo came down from Sanu, but it uh, didn't quite do anything now. There is going to be an ultimate use. The stun is going to land onto Blanks. He goes down. Hot Biscuit fell as well. Now it's just Wuzak 1v3. That should be the end of him. Daybot keeping themselves in this map number two. Woo. Make it four to three, but still Project Horizon, they have the, the map point, the game point. So they just need to get one more and they'll send it to a third. But continuing the trend from game number one, Daybok, really good orb control. Daybok. That's one thing they've been doing pretty consistently is keeping up the control of the center orb. They really have. Hot Biscuit just barely missed timing that ultimate over center orb, leaving it with, I believe, two or three health. Just enough for Daybok to be able to secure it, give them those resources, the team. That is, I mean, so many Ultor ultimates so far, just between both of these teams. Both Ultor is doing a good job of utilizing their resources, putting out the Corona Flux to secure orbs, and still able to get centers. But that time, Daybok will secure. That is right. Now, it's usually Token. a good start for them. Poking back and forth. Not a whole lot of engage until Wuzak here comes in. A nice clarity potion, though, from Sanu to help his teammate out and keep Wuzak at bay. But, uh,. Got to be careful here. The orb is up again. Daybok using the Chrono Flux well to secure it. Blanks tried to get his in there and get it for Project Horizon, but just not quite enough. Four so, ultimates. Ooh. Oh, Hot Biscuit with the blind ult. He's actually going in. The Purifier's out as well to give him some support. God of has an ultimate, so he is safe. They might want to try and hunt down Sanu, but they know a Tornado and a Swift Roll will come out. There's a Q, though. Sanu doesn't want to waste it too early. A little bit of max health and an orb again to Daybok. That's three orbs to none. Snoo's been doing a really good job of defending himself up top oh, against Wuzak. That, that ground stun. There is goo down there as well. Oh, Blank's getting out just in time. He almost died to the goo, but he managed to get himself out of there. Wuzak continuing to keep that pressure up. Ground stun doesn't quite connect from Hot Biscuit. But now the center orb is up. Project Horizon really needs to get this one, but they can't. Daybox still four for zero on orbs, just dominating in that department of this match. Now Wuzak looking to follow up onto Snu here. Good ground stun. That's the combo we've been looking for out of Project Horizon. Chunking down the hill slowly but surely. Wuzak doing quite a good job keeping the pressure up onto the supports of oh. Daybok. Man. Five orbs to none. They still can't secure one. Will they find some burst damage here on Snu? No, the panic will save him from Croak. And now he wants to try and come back in. There's one stun, ah, but the camouflage gets wasted. He couldn't see on the other side of that wall, and he will get M2 to round it. The X strike too oh, strong. Sand the time as well. He needs some support. Get those Blank greens. Wants to heal. Can they finally get an orb? Can they do it? No. Nope. Six orbs to none. God, man, that is just total domination in that department. Here comes the reversal of time on in, using iframes to make sure that he didn't take that stun. Stone glass on two of them. They gotta get on to God of right now. He's 
fresh meat for them to try and kill. He took quite fresh a bit meat. of damage, but he didn't quite go down as he now spaces away. He's got to be the target here. Oh, the tornado the comes in from Hot Biscuit. Tornado is going to say what? Venom comes out. That might be the connection. Yes, God of going down. That's a two versus three. A lot of Project Horizon members quite hurt at the moment. It's two Flags to two. Going down. It's two to two. It's a new. Doing his best to try and get out of here. Oh, not enough though. The stun fall by the MTS Kababi. He can do this. He gets one. Oh, here man. comes the ultimate. Oh, this is not good for Hot Biscuit. Going pure fire. Oh, oh Daybot getting, getting that orb, orb again. To one. Oh, Hot Biscuit might be going down here. He's just got nothing to give him. Daybot keeping hope alive. Kababi keeping hope alive. And now we're at four to four in map number two. This is going to be the decider. Will Project Horizon send it to a map number three? Or will Daybok book their spot in the finals by winning it right here? This is going to be a big one. Hot Biscuit really doing a lot of damage on that last round. Significantly more than anybody else. 1,700. I think the next closest was like 900 damage or something like that. But the thing is, they can't get the max health down because Daybok just has so much sustain. Seven or crazy one. Dude. I know. That is just so much. It is so nasty. Project Horizon's really got to start securing some of those. But here we are. This is a huge, huge round. Both these teams, Project Horizon, must have heard us complaining. They did manage to secure orb number one. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Daybok have the first map. Have they stayed alive long enough? Will they take this last round and end this early? Oh, oh, oh. what an ultimate from Hot Biscuit. But Wuzak's going to take just as much punishment. Time Banner comes out. One Firebolt too late. And they will secure the first orb. Oh, no, that's the second orb. Somehow I lost track of the first orb. Yeah, they uh, one for one on him this time around. Surprise! Now the ultimate coming out from Kababi. See what he can do with that. Hot Biscuit is going to space his way out of there, try and create some distance between himself and Kababi. Wuzak was still in. Ooh, is going to get hit by that E. Oh, oh God. So oh. much mid control. Yeah, that's, that's they're all over it. Double Venom, though. Can it connect? Yes, the damage will come down. Ooh, that ground stun almost connecting onto God of as well. Kababi forced to use his tornado. Tornado's down. This might be a time for some good trades. Miss Q as well. Ty is now looking at a dangerous spot. X Strike is down. No nice. cooldowns for her. In the meantime, Hot Biscuit should really putting pressure on God of in the back. He will have his ultimate if all else fails, but he will be use his space bar instead, but a barrier wasted. That's a good job from Hot Biscuit, basically keeping God of out of the fight. And now the blind all coming through yet again. I haven't seen Hot Biscuit really connecting on too many of these, but the old door ultimate will come through. Oh, the goo on top of that. That's so much damage. On to blinds. He's got to stay alive as Kababi using his own ultimate here, trying to come back around. See maybe if he can secure a kill on the blinds, God. just continually dishing out that damage, looking for the X-Strike. Not quite going to connect, but that orb up yet again, and Daybox secures it. Wuzak needs to be careful of himself back there. He's just he's really trying to keep the pressure on Tagata. That's basically who he's been focusing this whole round. Wuzak trying to get some heals up, using his spit when he can. Firewall is out. That means they're only, all they have left to try and secure this is Chronoflex and a lot of dedication. Oh, that wasn't pushed where they wanted it to. Project There's the Chronoflex. Oh, and no. they don't get it! Oh, man, someone's got to turn and get that orb. Uh -oh. Now Blank's caught inside of the goo, has to use the ultimate on himself. Hot Biscuit goes down, the stun comes out. There goes Blank's. Wuzak one versus three, and I think Daybok is going to be able to pull this one out and send themselves into the finals. Indeed, they will. A big comeback in map number two for them. And that they was, take that it. That was actually huge. Man, I, I, was, I smelled the comeback. We smelled it. It was close. Wasn't Going quite around there. nine. Yeah, but uh, and that composition from Daybot continuing to work. I I really thought Project Horizon found the secret sauce to throw on it, but just couldn't quite seal the deal. Unfortunate for them, and they will get knocked out here in the semifinals. Daybot moves on. Massive amounts of orb control from Daybot. I think that is a huge yeah. point of their wins between the pushback from Kababi. And the Chrono Flux out from God of. I think it's just a lot. You've also got a Clarity Potion from Sanu if all else fails. You probably don't want to use a Clarity Potion for that because you have so much more value if you actually will mm -hmm. get Clarity Potion on people like Wuzak who's going to be trying to come in and heal yep. up or, or really trying to help your teammates out who got petrified or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So Clarity Potion is kind of your last ditch effort to secure Orb because there's so much more you get out of a, out of a Clarity Potion yep. as opposed to a push from Tyus Q. Yep. While it really helps her appeal, she's still got Haste. She's still got Tornado. So she's got other things that have similar attributes to it, but Clarity Potion is a one in a million, man. That, that ability.